Hi, I'm Gail Schofield, um, and I've been involved in wildlife conservation for 30 years now, and specifically the last 27 years, really focusing on the protection efforts and research of sea turtles and other marine life in Greece, Cyprus, Australia, and Cape Verde in Africa. I always wanted to work with wildlife. Um, so when I was 16, I started working at a local wildlife rehabilitation center um, in the UK, Wildlife Aid, on my weekends um, when I wasn't at school. Um, this was back in 1991, 92, before the internet, and I saw this magazine advert on volunteering to help protect threatened sea turtles in Greece. So during my holidays and my undergraduate degree and long after, I gained really valuable experience and skills on sea turtle nesting beaches um, and rehabilitation center of Achelum, uh, assisting WWF Greece protect sea uh, key sea turtle nesting habitat, um, helping um, the protection efforts of the National Marine Park of Zakynthos, and consulting for various environmental agencies um, and Medicet at broader Mediterranean scales. Most sea turtle work effort is focused on land and I really wanted to learn um, what they were doing in the water. Um, and this actually formulated the basis of my PhD um, with universities of Ioannin and, and uh, Swansea, um, where I focused on looking at really elusive aspects of sea turtle biology, including their behavior, movement, distribution patterns of males, um, and how they migrated um, to various foraging habitats throughout the Mediterranean, how these correlated to protected air, existing protected areas. This research I continued um, to develop through various postdoctoral positions in the UK, Greece and Australia, which ultimately led to my current position as a lecturer at Queen Mary in London, um, where I teach how to implement conservation under a changing climate, particularly for temperature sensitive species like sea turtles. Um, and I, I use all sorts of really cool tools, including fine scale GPS tracking and most recently drones. We still know so little about how and why sea turtles select certain breeding sites over others, um, or why different age classes distribute across foraging sites differently, or how they coexist um, with each other and other wildlife. And all these issues um, need to be resolved to prioritize appropriate areas for protection um, and to identify threats. And I hope that my continued work will contri uh, contribute to resolving this. Thank you very much.